Uh oh. Huh? You're not supposed to see me. <laughs> Get that switched. There. It's something different every day. I'm still um, learning how to set this thing up, and obviously, I jiggled my camera. With something and it went off the air so i waited till the countdown was almost finished and then reloaded the page so anyway doing something a little bit different today actually it's not different it's um that i was a little organized so i'm gonna leave this here for just a few minutes and let you guys see it <laughs> Of course, you can always come in and replay, catch this. And we'll go over this. I have a jelly plate. I have shapes. I have a foam. Um ink adder on her. <clears throat> I have two Distress Oxide inks out. I've got Vintage Photo, Wall and Stain. I've got my small brayer. I'm using the Waverly. Right now I've got Celery out. <clears throat> Paper Artsy by Seth. After I've got Mud Splat and Toffee. Uh, spray Stains. I have Pumice and Faded Jeans. In Shimmer Mist, I have a light blue and a kind of a mauve, dark mauvey brown color. So I'm still, I'm going to leave this just a minute. So we can see where we are. Oh, that's one reason why it's higher than it, than it was. This is a sketchbook <clears throat> that I got last year. It's a stay flat. And I will put the link to it below. I'm thinking about using this along with the field notes journal I made. We're getting real close to, I know, I've been promising this for months. Here's my journal cover and it needs more distressing. And I just filled it with papers and things that I liked. And I think what I'll do is perhaps work in both of them. And because this one has white pages, I think I'm going to stand it up and spray coffee down in the seams and stuff. Hi, Joyce. Okay, that's a good thing. So anyway, I love this. It's a it's a really pretty good weight of uncoated paper. It's a little bit better than what's in the Dale Rowney. So I'll put this in the description. I think they're two for twelve dollars, maybe on Amazon. I don't, I, I don't remember, but they're they're inexpensive. So, screenshot anybody? All right, so I've given you plenty of time to capture this back at the beginning. So I'm going to move my my paint. And 
move the book. Alrighty, I did this just to practice. I'm real good. Now I turned that off. Oh, it's back on. I don't know why. Okay, autofocus. That's what I'm talking about. Interesting. So this is a using paint as a resist technique. So I put this through a stencil, and this is the celery. It's a chalk paint. Now, in order for that to be a resist, you have to put something different than paint so the paint will resist. In other words, if you put paint on it, you're putting paint on paint, and they work together so they'll cover each other up. So, But if you use ink or spray, and I got this bigger one out just so I could play with it a little bit. And... I think I'm going to use a little bit. I've got my press and seal. This is my pad from last week that I've worked with all week. Trying to get it flat. What are you doing? Oh, I'm going for these. And I've got two of these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's just work with the diamond shape first. I want it to look very distressed. And that's why I've got my paint so scattered. I can tell right away it would be real tempting to use two or three of these shapes. So we're still in paint. Which means when I put ink on top of it, this is going to be, I'm going to be able to pop it out. Hope everybody had a good week. This is a technique I picked up from Tim Holtz, of course. And I watch videos later at night when I'm really not good for much else. And sometimes I'm not good for this either because I forget. I remember that he did it, but I forget where it is or some of the main details of it. So there's that. I'm going to dry it. Now I'm going to wipe this off. I could
get some of it off over here. Let's start with vintage photo. You can do this with a stamp too. We'll do that in a minute. Watch your patterns. I just looked up and realized I had three diagonals going there. And I think that might be easier if I clip them down. Clips tend to disappear here. Alrighty. Now then, let's put... This is true turquoise. I like turquoise and brown. Oopsie. I better get that in case the lid comes off. Oh, it landed right side up in the spray bucket. Got pumice. And this is distress spray. I see some motion. I didn't see Becky. Hi, Becky. If you don't like the way it went on, just smush it. Okay, now what are we going to do? That's turquoise. I just used that. I've got a Seth after here. Now I'm going to have to be careful that I don't end up with just a solid pattern. So I'm going to have to that was obviously the black Hey, Becky. How are you? I'm going to mop some of this up. And I've still got some wet areas. This one is walnut stain. I guess we're going for covering up the whole white. Okay. There's that. I'm 
I'm going to try this is uh, Distress distress faded jeans. Maybe too dark, but we're going to go for it. I'm bending this as I go. Okay, that's not too bad. It's an interesting background so far. That faded jeans with those browns looks pretty good to me. To me, to me. Okay, we've got some paint scraps here. I'm going to do this with stencil next. Come back here. Come on back here. Um, I think I'm just going to use the celery again. This time we're going to do it with stamp I'm going to use this just to get some on my brayer come on there you go it needs to be cleaned And I'm going to roll over this. Don't worry, it'll come off. This way, instead of putting your plate down in the, I mean, your stamp down in the paint, you won't get it all down in the nooks and crannies. Put that right up here. And hello, everybody that is um, watching quietly by your desk or wherever you are. Hello, hello. And you can do an emoji or whatever and just say hi. This is not, I don't think, going to show up real good, but we're going to keep going. All right. I have fallen in love with these Stampers Anonymous stencils. I love the way they're stuck, and you can use them permanently. Clear page would have been, I mean, a clean page would have been better. I still got a little bit of paint down in the cracks. Clean as you go. And like I said, that's not gonna not gonna work real good. Let's do triangles.
going to be a beautiful page, but you know what? We know how to fix it. I'm going to dry them a little. Damn it. Excuse me. Went to the floor. All right, now we do ink on this side and then we'll do a reveal. I've got a, this was the old plate, the plate that I got, I told you about last week, it's from, that's golly darn, I thought, I know the name, it's the carving company, I keep wanting to say streamlined, and that's not it. Ooh. I don't want to pick up the black again. That is the black. Warm page. Nothing that a little washi tape won't fix. Of course, the sample that I saw was done on tag, which would be easier to handle. There's a little bit of that. Didn't use this mob over there. You know what? That black really is kind of nice. Oh, is that? I don't remember. This is the mauvey glimmer mist. Good color. I have so much of these. I think that's the black.
Maybe it was right with jeans. Yeah, that's what it was. Quick and easy to dry. Okay. I don't think this. I can rewrap that. I can we wet. Let's go over here. It's been dry longer. What I'm doing here is erasing the ink off the paint that I put on first, the dried acrylic. It's a very subtle effect. But that's what you want for a background. And this could be collaged upon. And the ink has soaked into the raw paper. So you won't get a whole lot of that. If any. I should start seeing those triangles. I did them real lightly so they may not show up that good. Yeah, there's one showing, something showing up. Okay, I sure thought I had some down in here. Okay, ta da! Kind of a nice technique. Hey, Ripley, how are you? Alrighty, now let's get a fresh. Baby wipe and see what we can reveal over here. It's 
probably just going to be a lot of pattern because I already had all that ink on there. <clears throat> Ripley could tell some stories on me for sure. I was pretty tight when I was in high school. There's that tear. <coughs> I'm just going to let that live right where it is. Because when I come back to put collage on these, I can fix it then and maybe get a... Okay, so we didn't get much bang for our stamps over here. Got some right there that's good. This page is my favorite. All right. Let's start over here. That's just some playing around I did. Let's do these stamps again. And let's use this um, maze. I better put the lid on this one before I mess up. I told y'all last week that this paint now comes in smaller bottles. Oops, I didn't mean to take that all the way off. Spring, I, after after I went off the air last week, I spent an hour or so opening up all these and getting them wet. Seems to have worked. Because I am not going to throw away paint as long as it's got a lifespan. Okay. Oh, we're going to use the brayer, remember? Let's see if this does any better on a blank page, which I'm sure it will. I love that speckled egg color. It looks green sometimes and blue sometimes. These two stamps don't have to go together, but because it's just being used for a background, all I'm going to get is pattern anyway. So, and that's going to have to go in some water, but it's not as bad as if I had pounced the stamp. In the paint. Okay. We did you. Um, <laughs> stencil. Let's use this. This one again. It's from Stencil Girl. I know they've marked them somewhere. The babies. Good grief. Where did they put it? There it is. It's...
SC01-2020, Mary Beth Shaw. And I'm going to use this side. And I got out something else that I haven't used in a while. Remember these gel makeup sponges? And I don't have much paint on here at all, so. Little boy's getting in trouble. Okay. Okay, now let's pick out another. Let's do this. No, let's do this. Next time, baby. Let's see, maybe. No, I'm going to stick with this. What the hell? There's six. Let's go for seven. Okay. Next week, I'll collage on these. All right, now we dry it. I think the stamps I picked are too in intricate, big word. And now I'm going to clean some of this off on this next page. Now, if you get ready to use this and you don't like what you've done, just take white gesso and in it with water, wipe it on, and wipe it off. I need that. Tattered Angels, any sprays will work. All sprays are ink for the most part. You'll find a few pigments. Oh, 
Okay. Let's put a little bit of this. If you can see my desk. If you can see my room. Now remember, these are all inks. <coughs> the craft paint underneath is acrylic. Acrylic makes a mask. <laughs> mask. Makes a mask for the ink. That color is really nice. Let's see, what else am I going to put on here? I think I'm going to quit. Now dry it. <clears throat> Yeah, dry it so you don't get wipe off your ink. You can get two or three uses out of out of one baby wipe. Just if it dries out, just any paper now that was it's like I didn't cover that whole thing with paint. You're going to get that speckled look. I'm not getting much bang for the buck on this one. There's some coming through. Very subtle. But you don't want this to... take over your pattern. Now, there is something else I could do. Because this is chalk paint, it's got a rough surface and a matte finish. So some of my ink is going down into that chalk paint. So this is what you find by experimenting, which I'm not that good at. <coughs> I'd rather watch somebody else do it than me try to figure it out. But we're going to do that. <clears throat> That's all this deal is going to be today. <coughs> I thought I got out of Pebble. Yeah. <coughs> I did. I got a copper somewhere. There it is. Now that will dry shine.
Let's get a different stencil. This one is kind of Pennsylvania Dutchy. And this is Pebio Studio Acrylic. Uh, what do they call theirs? Iridescent. Oh, well. This was crazy a couple of years ago, and everybody wanted this. And of course, I had to get it. This one is this. I keep looking up at chat and I'm not seeing anything. So those of you in the background, say hi. Keep the chat moving so the YouTube gods will smile on my channel. If you have not subscribed, please do if you like this sort of stuff. Um, <clears throat> and hit the bell and you'll be the first to know. The minute I go live, <coughs> no, I haven't been smoking. I'm twisting this to get it down in the crevices. working great try to get it a little less grungy and a lot more solid pattern I am aiming for Sunday to introduce Dr. Victoria Rosebloom. Got to make sure I got enough content in the hopper. So be a field notes journal. So get a journal. It doesn't matter what kind. And I think you'll enjoy it. I will be giving out like I did earlier in that test run um, copies of some of the printables I use with enough options that you can make one that looks like you. Well, I mean, you know what I mean. Ah, that'll be a lump. Come on. All right, I'm kind of messing with that. Okay, we got a fairly good one. Mm. 
don't want to waste any paint. Remember, we didn't. <clears throat> Now, this is the one that has to dry. <clears throat> Hi, Brenda. Hey, Chalker. These are very thin coats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She says. I've got that loaded with paint, so. I'm going to use this for <clears throat> my inks. Now what I'm doing, theoretically, the acrylic paint will not move because I should have remembered it was going to do that. Now, anything else I'm putting on it from here on out is <clears throat> ink-based, which means that it will come up. Ooh, that's pretty right there, I'll tell you now. Take me to church on that one, because you got it everywhere. See, the, other, the newer sprays don't do that. That's my old... Tattered Angels. My paper towel went the floor. Now what we're trying to achieve is that the copper the ink will go into the paper, but the copper will come forward and look like it's been <clears throat> messed with more than it has. And by that, I mean I can come back with something wet and clean the ink off of those. <clears throat> Dang. Two people in this group, and we've known each other over 50 years. I want the brown one. The Seth After. Aladdin is the company and coffee is the color. Interesting color combination there. J 
dry it so the ink had more of a chance to sink in. I forgot. There you are. Let's put some paint since I've got this left on one of our little symbols since that's okay. Here you come, water drop. Now this will go on top of everything. And just play it. Experimenting. And I will imagine that the the copper from the teardrop is that was good, wasn't it? Uh, the copper from the teardrop will be a different color than yeah, why not? It'll be a brighter color than the one I started with underneath. Okay. We almost used to death. Don't let it go to waste. Now then, we'll dry. All right, let's get a fresh baby wipe. And see how this works. Now those won't, those again are, um, crap, I'll get it out in a minute. Pure acrylic sitting on top. I'm not getting the best. Impression. Maybe I need to go back and watch that video again. But it's good enough for a background. <laughs> you start out with two square feet of space and you end up with 12 inches if you're lucky. Alright, he said that since I said this was about shapes. These little trays 
Or Dino Wakeley's. And I really, really do like them. Let's do the. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> I got these at one time and left them in the car. And then I couldn't get the plastic off. So I got a little bit heavy handed with it and peeled some of the plastic off. Right, that's good. So where did you put it? That's right there. See? It's on the back side. <clears throat> oh, and here's another little lovely spot. So that one's a great grunge one. Let's do some more Pebio in this turquoise. Oh, some of the some of the copper still wet. I got my little car back. I'm happy about that. Now I can go see Rosemary. Oh, I've also got a set of hexagon cards, prompt cards done. Well, almost done. Shape made, made me think. And then for people like me who forget what they've got, it's like pick a Pick a color, uh, pick a medium, and then pick a project. And the third one is a material, a tool. Because I forget that I've got my little Cricut die cutter up there. And it might be just what I need at some point. That didn't work at all. This paint has just a little bit of iridescence, and you shouldn't have done that because you got too much. And this is called the Dyna. This is... Yeah, I know it. you doing you're making a mess I know that
<clears throat> Let's see what we got. Let's see, I never did find my. Oh, embossing. There it is. You quit looking for it. I found it. My little tool. What you do with it, Joyce? Eh? There it is. That's fine. All right. I have lots of different ways to get embossing on here, but I can't find them except for this. Now I gotta think about do I want it? Some of both. Hope everybody has had the opportunity to get their two shots or one shot, depending on where you live. Because I understand that we're in for a rocky road. Because there's still a lot of people that don't believe it, that there is. Okay, I think I got that. Let's put a little bit, little bit down here. A little bit down here. Now, what this stuff is, I think it's nothing but glycerin. Probably has a little something else in it to make a mystery. Now, let's go with... Let's just use these two. No, no, no. Speckled egg. Just a little different. Well, not much. Well, so let's use this, Seth. Because Seth, um, his are... His contain more than just one color. I'll get it out in a minute. Okay, I guess that's it. I know I've got four of those. <clears throat> All right, we're just going to go for it. Now I need a piece of plain paper. I ought to be able to do that. This is a drawing diagram of one of the first projects in Field Notes. You can't walk and chew gum at the same time here. So now you shake this, and that resist acts like a glue. Uh, 
Doesn't count if you throw it in the floor. You got some that time. Okay. This is the tricky part when you have no space. I want to try to spread some of this out a little. This white paper. The bad thing about what I just did is that now I've got contaminated stuff. Here's what we what it looks like. So I'm gonna pour that into the black one or the dark one. Because the black is kind of strong. And if I can do this without getting it all in the floor. And there you have it. A little bit of turquoise. wonder where the other lid went. There it is. So that's that's what you do with embossing stuff. Now, if you want to get some more off of that, okay. Now then, this is nothing more than finely ground plastic. And we're going to melt it, and then you'll see the magic.
Now, any parts that aren't cooked won't be shiny. So I think I got them all. Ready. Now, here's what we got. We got two permanent products. We've got uh, Pebio acrylic ink that is iridescent, and we've got Seth Apter's um, baked velvet in two colors. Now, then, that means that anything we put on top of this shouldn't affect what's under it unless I missed a you know chunk of paint or something in there the raw paper will not react where's my deal that work I'm getting real good at not staying in the lines. Spray that and make it run. See if anybody else is saying something. Hi, Joycey. Bye back. See you on the flip flop. I'm about done. Here's that blue color I like so well the faded jeans. Because I like faded jeans. And I'm going to use this blue stripe. What else have I got I want to use? I think that's about it. And I always come back and add more. I'm going to dry it again. I got some old paper out. No, oh, pumice stone.
All right, this will be my last hoorah for today. See if we get anything worth writing home about. Now the stain will model on the paint if it didn't cover. In other words, the bare paint can show through some of these areas. Especially the thinner areas. It's going to take me an hour to clean all this up. Actually, that color going into those okay. Okay. You see where I did not have a full coverage of the Pabio paint. Or down here so the ink goes into those spots and sinks down so if you really wanted those to show up as solid hexagons you'd have to be careful and put two or three coats on to make sure that all of the paper under there was covered so that's what I learned from that one let's go look back on what we did for those of you who are still here, and there will be quite a few on the enough on that to mess with. Clean fingers. I think that's the theme song to Red Robin, but I'm going to copy it. That's going to take some more time to get off but it's all dry okay so we did that one and we did that one wet paper doesn't stick to damp paint very good it's all right we did this one and we did a little bit on that one but that's not the same technique And did that one and these two. So I didn't get much at all over here, did I? But I know not to use too delicate a stencil. I mean a stamp. That'll be great when I come back to um, add to it, put paper and stuff on top of it. I don't think I did anything in here. No, I didn't. So there you have it. Hi, Barbara. Well, it will be on uh, replay sometime later tonight. And um, I did give you a product where you can take a screenshot and see what I used. And I will see you guys next week. And watch for, watch for the field notes. It'll be a surprise. Bye-bye.